So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Bodark Kiko Goats. Uh, what we got going on this week? We had a goat stuck in the fence and uh, she had done it several times. So uh, I finally took care of the problem. I thought that we had lost her. Uh, I think pretty positive she got stuck overnight. But uh, we got that taken care of and uh, this week we've had some rain so we've got about I would say probably two inches of rain on our uh, winter pasture so that that's good news for us because with the money we put into it we uh, want to make sure that that crop is going to come up and it, it's looking like it's going to come up so uh, that's good but uh, y'all come along and watch how we take care of this problem with this goat and uh, appreciate everybody watching all right I got up this morning and did a head count on the goats and I, one of them was missing so I drove back here drove back out here to the back and I found her uh, this is back here on a old washed out creek uh, and this goat has got a problem with doing this there's nothing for her to eat right there where she's at. So she does this several times. That's why it's important to have, whenever I built new fence on this place, <clears throat> I put goat wire up. That was usually cross fences, but uh, I had to use cattle panels and I bought field fence to put on top of bob wire. So uh, goats like her, she, uh, she could have been easily coyote bait. So I'm thinking that she either must've got stuck late last night i don't think they come out here this morning but uh she's been out here for a while so at least overnight maybe so i'm gonna get her out and get a uh i'm gonna put the dum dum stick on her head so hopefully this don't happen again There ain't nothing for her to eat right here. Nothing. Nothing but a bunch of weeds or ragweed back here. Nothing on that side. All right, she's she stuck again. Uh, I got my stick we're gonna put on her. I got some tape cut up and then I got my help. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this put on her and hopefully stop her from doing this. This is the second time today this has happened. And as you can see, there's nothing but dirt there. Oh, don't get that. Shit. All right, well, we got it on her. It took two takes. She, uh, she's pretty strong. I'm a big dude. She put me on the ground, tripped me up. So we got her done, though. Hopefully, this will, this will keep her from getting stuck in the fence. All right, so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to show you guys what I do to keep the goat from getting their head stuck. Uh, I take a piece of PVC pipe. It's about 18 inches long. And uh, you can see 
that it can't they stick try to stick their head in there they can't put their head through and then I you try to use some uh, good uh, tape I prefer I like this gorilla tape it's uh, it's really tough and seems to hold a lot better uh, but anyways so nor the goat or myself was hurt in the making of this video <laughs> although I did fall it's okay uh, we did get her caught and got it put on her uh, but you can see that if she was to stay out overnight and be crying or say I just miscounted and didn't get her uh, she could easily end up dead uh, coyote bait or bobcat or something could have got her but I'm glad nothing happened that was what my thoughts were when I went back there I knew I was like man I'm, I'm afraid something's gonna she's gonna be dead she could get hung up and twist her neck you never know so she's gonna wear this little wand uh, until she learns not to do it however long or her horns grow out enough where she can't stick her head through there because she does not know how to get it back I've got some goats that can stick their head in there and pull them right out but she just can't figure it out she stays there until I come and get her so anyways I just want to let you guys know what what I use to fix that got these uh, last two nannies caught today and we're gonna bring them home and turn them out with the rest of the herd these uh I like these two right here. One's a New Zealand, and this one right here, she's a purebred. Mo, no. no. All right, guys. So I hope that uh, that video, if any of you have this, have had this problem and didn't know what to do, now now maybe that'll help you out. You can use a stick, PVC pipe, whatever. Just make sure you tape it up real good, and uh, it won't come off. And sometimes, uh, sometimes if they get the head button, it, it might cause it to pop off or break off. You can put it on the back side of the horns and do it. Uh, but anyhow, we'll check these goats out. They're uh, they're looking big and healthy and pregnant and we're ready for some babies. So we appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, appreciate you tuning into the channel. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.